Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. I've been... <laughs> I have not enough time right now, I need to do it. I don't have time for extra takes. Uh, I need to go to work. Hi. I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech and if you've been following me on Instagram you've noticed I flooded the Instagram feed with some clever navbar actions. What are the navbar actions? Those are, this is a new feature in the public release of Tasker 5.7 and allows you to add actions to your navbar at the bottom so you can do something cool and clever like for example controlling your lights in a room. So this is the light and uh, I can control there's a more than one light I can actually control from this. Anyway, uh, I've showcased them on Instagram and I'm going to post them in this video in a second. However, first I wanted to explain a couple of things. Now, this is a showcase video, which means it doesn't really come with a tutorial because of this. This is a task list re uh, required to go through it. And while the navbar actions aren't very complicated, I've made them really, really smart. Check this video out. The best thing about these navbar action is that they working with each other. So Tasker will remember what was the navbar running previously and which navbar it should return when you change it. So when you go and open a new navbar action, when you finish with the tasks, simply go back to the screen and it will return the navbar you probably want most. So as you can see, Nautasca will pick the most appropriate navbar to your situation, at least to best of my knowledge. Now, because of that, uh, I needed to split this into a couple of parts. In the first part, I will describe every single action and told you, tell you how to use it on its own without that smart element. And then in the last part, I will discuss how to wrap them together and how to make the task and the navbar tasks work together as one and that's why this is not something I'll be able to cover in a single tutorial so I hope you don't mind and now let's run through the navbar actions I've created. The first navbar action I would like to show you is the Facebook one. When I open it an active PC will appear and in this case this is a laptop so when I press uh, the button it will open the Facebook session on my laptop. And now if I'm gonna move to the computer, stationary computer and move the mouse, watch the screen, watch the icon in the corner. The icon has updated and now my tasker knows and the telephone knows that I was using a different computer. So if I press on it, it'll open the same website on the main computer. Now you can think that it's uh, back and forward between a computer and when you close it out, obviously that icon will disappear after a couple of moments. Another exciting thing that you can do with the navbar is you can use NFC stickers like one of these to trigger events. So in this case, I've created a login. So it logs to my room and shows me get controls for the lights. As you can see, both lights in here and in there are on and I can control them individually. What's more, once I switch the lights on and off, the icon will update too. As you can see, the icons update. How about the other one? Works great. Uh, this will remind active until I scan the other NFC tag or log myself out from the room by scanning the same one. Another thing that you can do on your mobile and the navbar, you can set up file transfer as an action when you connect the USB. So all you have to do is just to click on that icon in the corner here. And then the device will connect as a file transfer automatically opening the web browser on your computer. Using WhatsApp a lot? Uh, well, we can automate the tasks as well. Pressing on the WhatsApp icon will authorize me to open the WhatsApp on one of the clients. Here I'm loading the WhatsApp on the computer. Now, if I'm gonna change the computers itself, 
and uh, activate the other computer, the icon will update and I'll be able to perform the same action on the other computer. But wait a minute, I'm not logged in. Uh, what if you want to automatically log in? That's not a problem, just double tap on the navbar icon to enable a couple of things. Uh, you're gonna open the incognito mode on the computer and automatically log into the WhatsApp. There we go, I'm ready to log in. Another thing that uh, you can do with it, you can time different actions. So for example, I've made an alarm clock to appear based on my location and the time context. So the icon will remind me to set the alarm and when the alarm is set, it'll set the alarm and disappear. So you can have your evening routine if you don't, uh, uh, for example, uh, work in the usual patterns. You can use that reminder to set your alarm and make sure you don't forget uh, the alarm for the next day. And also I've changed the trigger for my clipboard manager. So now when I want to copy something to my clipboard, I have access to my clipboard manager. When pressed, it will reveal the usual clipboard and this has 10 entries, but you can have unlimited. You can close it out and once closed, the icon will disappear after 10 seconds, so no longer it's gonna bother you. Thanks for watching guys. As you can see, that smart navbar action project is really, really exciting. Uh, every single action is going to be available separately as well. So if you don't like something or you don't use something, you can choose not to use it. And then it's going to be entire project described for you as well. So if you want to have that interaction between navbars, feel free to use that. I'll be releasing part soon. Uh, the first one's already available because I wrote about it earlier once that feature was out of uh, in beta. And uh, these are the USB file sharing one. I'm gonna link it in the description for you and at the end of this video. So once I'm more, thanks so much for watching guys. Follow me on social media for updates. Click the subscribe and notification. Uh, you know how to use the YouTube. So use the YouTube and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.